My love, when I look at you, I find it hard to believe that the universe had not conspired to bring you to life. I cannot think of a better reason for it all to exist than you on this day. We can float along the water from the rivers to the sea and drift away with the tide. First there was Bumble, then text messages galore, and finally their first date. But there was one part of the story in particular that stood out to me the most. Carrie invited Mike to be her date to a charity event that is near and dear to her heart. Carrie was a speaker at the event, and while she was delivering her speech, she glanced down at Mike in the audience. He was sobbing. It's like she had broken him open, and he was feeling it all at once. The love, the compassion, he had found his girl. You guys are going to bear witness to a special tradition of mine where I try to tie a double Windsor tie. Wedding watch, compliments, Carrie. After 14 years of friendship, we have shared so many memories together. Mike, or as I like to call him, Dr. Mike, has so many qualities, so many gifts. He's a whiz with math and computers. He speaks four languages. He's a very talented musician. He's run a bazillion marathons. He even built the altar we're standing on today. He's the life of every party. But above all this, Mike has a heart of pure gold. Mike, you always have a way of showing up when it matters most, and you're never afraid to feel it all. Carrie, I went for a walk last night and was trying to think of adjectives to describe you, but none seemed adequate. Then a word popped into my mind, goddess. I guess. <laughs> According to Google, a goddess radiates kindness, compassion, and unconditional love. She loves and respects all beings. A goddess exudes the energy of passion, authenticity, enthusiasm, which is attractive, inspiring, and contagious. Indeed, the perfect word had found me. Carrie, you are a goddess. So go on, lead the way. I will be far behind. Welcome to those of you gathered here in person today, six feet apart, of course, and welcome to those of you tuning in from home. Mike and Carrie, you balance each other out, you push each other to be better people, and truly complete each other. From all of us to you, we are thrilled and honored to be alongside you for this next chapter and all the chapters to come. <laughs> Isn't she so beautiful? <laughs> my sun and fire and my flame. Thank you for receiving my love and for loving me and for saving me in every way that someone can be saved. Ernest Hemingway wrote, oh darling, you will be good to me, won't you? Because we're gonna have a strange life. <laughs> my brother Vince shared something I know with all of my heart to be true and that is if my mom, dad and brother Bob were here today, they would be so grateful for you. I know sometimes it's still hard to let me see you in all of your cracked perfection. But please know, whether it's the days you burn more brilliant than the sun, or the nights you collapse in my lap, your body broken into a thousand questions, you are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I will love you when you are a still day, and I will love you when you are a hurricane. I feel lucky that I get to be the one that you never saw coming. I want to marry you because it means we get to build a family and life together. You, me, and all the kiddos, and Mimo too. You are simply the most extraordinary woman I have ever known. I get to love you and Remy through all of our tomorrows. I may not have gotten any of your firsts, but I'm so lucky I get to have all of your lasts. I am happy to pronounce Mike and Carrie as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. 
now present Dr. and Mrs. Procopio. So beautiful. Clearly this is not a traditional wedding. When I look around, I will never forget being up on that altar with the love of my life and looking around at each and every one of you. And I am deeply grateful to have you all here with me. And thank you for bearing witness to a very special love and to a very magnificent woman. Cheers to you all. Chase your stars, fool, for life is short. And so here I am, marrying my best friend. Exactly where I want to be. More here's to never getting over each other and never having to. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I love you. <laughs>